Most of the time when watching a movie or a show, you know what to expect in terms of its genre because if they lied about the type of product it is, most people would get upset. It could be great, but since you sat down expecting to see something else that was advertised, it could have soured the experience through no fault of your own. I mention this because the first time I saw the poster for a potted Anman, I thought it was some sort of action western show with samurai involved. Yet, when I started watching the opening, I was surprised to learn that the show was really about racing. But not really. The show does still have its action in between the races, but because it's split between these two different genres, the show ends up feeling unfocused, like it's two half-assed products being delivered to us. The story follows a young man named Apare who loves to invent. He suffers from making only rational decisions and not letting pesky things like emotions and other people's feelings get in the way of how he lives his life. Which, as a side note, is stupid because as any genius will tell you, sometimes the rational decision is to listen to other people's emotions and what they have to say. Thus, you can continue living your life without suffering any sort of consequence. But this is one of those over-the-top things that anime likes to do, so I'll give it a pass. Now, Apare is watched by a sort of caretaker named Kosame, who needs to keep him in check, otherwise he will also face the consequences of Apare's actions. After some wacky hijinks, they both end up in America, California to be more precise, where a cross-country race is about to start, which catches Apare's attention. Kosame, eager to get home, decides to let Apare race since the winnings would be enough to get them back to Japan. Now, that's your basic premise, but the show itself has so much crammed into it that a lot of the story elements and side stories that come into play just get no time for proper development. For example, there's this female racer who wants to prove that women can compete just as much as men. There's a Native American boy who wants to get revenge for the death of his family. There's another racer who wants to prove that he can take over the family business by winning the competition. Plus, there's this whole situation with three outlaws who are said to be powerful and enough to take on a hundred men, and the show tackles their involvement with the race, and good god! You realize you only have 13 episodes, right? Seriously, there's even more plot with more characters than that. But since you have to balance those with the racing and the occasional action in between, it results in a lot of these threads never fully forming into what could have been great moments. This show needed to be 24 episodes long. It needed to be able to take its time with its story threads to create something complex. But as it stands, even the racing, which is the central focus of the show, ends up feeling like an afterthought. Almost as if it was just a plot device to get all these characters together, but since they put so much emphasis on it, now they have to do something with it. The racing itself is really dull as well, and really comes down to just rinse and repeat moments. And it usually goes something like this. Leave a checkpoint late. Encounter a problem along the route. Which leads to then the car getting damaged. Which then leads to them barely making it to the next checkpoint in time. And then you do it all over again. Yeah, the races end up being incredibly boring. Second only to... Yeah... The lead character is as dull as a bag of bricks. He's just the typical anime protagonist. He has no backstory. He has no reason he is the way he is. Heck, if they had made it that he was autistic, and thus had a hard time associating with other people, but was still really smart and so it attracted other people to him, that could have been great! How many anime do we have with a protagonist that is actually set up as autistic? But no, in the end he learns those things called human emotions. He learns to make irrational decisions for the ones that he loves, and yeah, as if that's a lesson that actually needs learning. <sighs> now, maybe I'm being too overly harsh on the show. And yeah, if I'm being truthfully honest, I think general audiences could watch it and have a great time with it. But it is a show that lacks polish. It barely crosses the finish line, very much similar to Apari's own vehicle. And so, it's really not a show that I had any fun watching. With all these problems in mind, I give Apari Ranman a 2.5 out of 5 with the recommendation to skip it. It's not necessary viewing. This is one of those shows that is fated to fade into obscurity by this time next year. And that's my review for you guys for today. Holy shit! Are we off to a bad start? Uh, well, 
Hopefully tomorrow's anime will be fine-tuned enough to really get those gears revving. Until then, guys, don't forget to stay safe out there and have a good one.